Everyone, welcome back to Open Line. We are joined via Zoom by uh, Dr. Julio Rivas with, at Lipscomb University, economics professor, talking about the economy. As we go into this new year, what might happen? <laughs> Which I think is a fascinating thing to discuss. And as we laid out in the first segment, um, there are really two schools of thought going into next year. We will raise interest rates a little bit more, or we will have to raise interest rates a lot more. And, and Professor, as, as you said, you believe, and, and, and the Fed even just said recently, we may, we may not need to raise rates as much as we thought. Yes. You believe, yes. You, you believe we may not need to raise interest rates much more. Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I, think, I think rates have been, have been increased by, by, by quite a bit. Actually, actually the, that Fed funds rate, the, the upper bound, it's it's at the levels that we haven't seen since 2007, right? So 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 it, it is it is at a 15 year high, and, and uh, I I just hope that that is that is enough to cool off the what what needs to be cooled off, but not not to hurt much the economic activity in the country. And how much can we do? So our Fed is raising the interest rates, but how much of this is controlled worldwide? Is even beyond the control of our Fed? Well, you know, it's it's a lot of a lot of countries in the world are really struggled. You know, I mean, it's it's if you see Europe, Europe, Europe is having a very hard time. You know, and, and I would say all, all over the world, there's 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 been a struggle. You know, I mean, it's we we are still you know the the, the leaders in the world. You know, in terms of, of of economy. You know, so so as as long as we are having issues, or if it's perceived that we're having issues, everyone else will struggle. Now, uh, in 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 our case. Um, well, surely, surely, let's say we we kind of created our own. Well, we we were digging our own grave, if we may. That sounds a little drastic, but it is not as bad. And 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 I always like to say this: it is not as bad as 2007, 2008. That that That's crisis good. was terrible. That 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 I mean, if if, if we can, if we have had generalized bankruptcy of of banks, you know, financial institutions, that would have created a a, a terrible conflict you know and, and 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 an issue that will be very very hard to solve right now i don't think i don't think banks well you know we we, we have credit suisse that is struggling a little you know but but our american banks and there's there's no there's no underlying reason like back then with subprime mortgages that 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 was the underlying reason the underlying reason right now is that there's too much money in the economy and we need to we need to cut it off all right and just so i understand and then i'm going to move on to black friday you think you you believe yep. and, and again there are two schools of thought they're going to raise rates a little mm -hmm. more and then that will be enough mm -hmm. to get inflation under control do you think we will not yes. have a a severe recession next year is that your belief no yes i think i think um we we might have some reduced economic activity i was i was looking because because you know I, I have my thoughts but i always want to want to see what what other people have to say and I was I was reading at in Bloomberg, the the survey, when the, where they ask economists, well, what are what are your expectations for for GDP growth in the next year? You know, and 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 a lot of analysts are not very optimistic in the very first two quarters of next year. Having said that, they don't put a, a lot of negative numbers. They put growth close to zero. Now, zero growth, well, it's 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 not really a good thing. You know, we we want to have some sort of growth. But uh, having that is that is not in the ballpark of a severe recession. It's 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 something that is manageable, and I hope by the second half of next year, we, our, our our economy will be will be growing again, and it will be very good for all of us. Okay, and now why is Black Friday important in this determination yes. of where we go from here? Why not just Black Friday, but yeah, really but this whole holiday season? We're yes. we're coming up on an important well, time, aren't we? Yes, yes, and and that is that is that is an important thing to mention. And and uh, as as all of you or most of you probably know, consumption is a very important part of the American economy, right? We are we are a consumption-driven economy, and well, the more we consume, the the, the better it is for for the economic growth of the country. Um, Black Friday, well, that's that's the kick-off day for for holiday shop. Um, there is there is this this index that the consumer sentiment index that is tracked by the University of Michigan, and uh, they 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 
pretty much measure how do consumers feel, feel with respect to to the economy. You know, it, it's it's if you ask me or people that know more than me, we can give you a very I would say educated answer to, to 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 that question but if you ask the general public hey what do you think about the economy you know are, do you feel confident in the economy so that you can consume and and that index has been going down you know right now it's 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 at one of the lower points in the in the recent history and and that is that is the signal that a lot of people are probably not going to be consuming that much during the holiday season um, well, what, what, what leads to more consumption? So, okay, how, how do you feel confident or how can you feel confident about consuming? So, well, if you're gonna have income next year, right? I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. If you have a job, if you have a steady flow of money coming to your bank account, you will feel confident in buying more things. If you don't, if, you, if you're hesitant on, on your you know, income for the, next, for the next year or so, you might be a little bit more cautious on, on, on spending. And, and we've seen, you know, that, that the credit card usage, for instance, has been going up. I think, I think it's, it has had one of the highest increases in the last, uh, in the recent history. All of this due to inflation, due to the fact that things are more expensive. So, so, so Black Friday, you know, and, and, and monitor the news, right? And, hey, you know, listen to the news <laughs> or read the news. Or right, TV. right. But, but yeah, you know, you're, you, you're going to see the reports about, the, the, the about what what do retailers think it's going to happen during the holiday season? I mean, if if, uh, if if they have a good Black Friday, they're going to say you know we, we are optimistic. But if they don't, uh, there there's going to be issues. You know, and, and right now I, I was also reading that that a lot of a lot of retailers have been accumulating inventory, so so they have too many goods, and uh, well they, they 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 hope they can sell everything, but. But if they don't, well, we might see more sales right now. So they have too much inventory now. They have too much inventory. And, and last year, I feel like it was supply yeah. chain issues. There was not enough inventory. Yes. So we've seen this kind of shift, yes. right? There's a shift. <clears throat> yeah, and, and for, some re, for some retailers, that, that, is, that is the truth. I mean, they have, they have too much stuff. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's always... Uh, nerve-wracking to have a lot of stuff and not being able to move it so 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 what they want is to be able to move the stuff that they have so that well they they can they can buy more for their suppliers you know i mean otherwise just just think about this well we we all love sales right we all love paying less but 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 the other person you know the the, the one that we bought the stuff from uh they have suppliers you know and if we if 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 they still have a lot of inventories they're not going to buy a lot from their suppliers their suppliers are not going to be producing. They might have to, to lay off people. They might have to, to do other other measures in order to, to stay alive in the economy. So it is it is it is um, unfortunate in a way. You know, now, when I hear they have that, too that much stuff, when I hear they have too much stuff, it makes me yeah. think they're going to lower prices. It makes me think there are going to be a bunch of sales sure. and prices are going to be lower. Is that is that right? I mean, is that what we expect? If, yes. If 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 they if they're not able to move it quickly, for sure we're gonna see we we should see a lot of that. Uh, and and again, you know, it's 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 we might think it's good, you know, but, but on the other hand, if we see a lot of sales and if we're not able to buy the stuff that it's on sale, well, that's also an indicator, right? <laughs> right. Okay. We have a call. I want to take a call here before we go to break. Let's go to Steve, sure. uh, who's on the line here. Hello, Steve. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Enjoy the show. Uh, this is more of a comment than a question for your guests. Um, I wish the Fed would really concentrate more on other things rather than wage growth. Uh, we have the middle class that's shrinking, and we haven't seen wages really go up very much. So when you look at the lower end where you see wages increasing, that's that should be a correction more than anything else because we've kind of been below market, in my opinion. So I wish the Fed really wouldn't concentrate so much on wage growth when they're doing their calculations i think it should be weighted that high i do agree with the interest rates need to go up there's a lot of speculation uh but i think they're the calculation for wage growth uh really focusing on that is is a mistake interesting okay steve uh, thank you and all right talk a little bit about what steve is saying there and your thoughts about it yeah um unfortunately for 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 a lot of people a lot of people that, 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 that see this in the macro level, uh, 
wage increases will be an indicator or, or will lead to an increase in prices as well. Yes, these, these type of policies are hard on the middle class. I agree 100% with that because wage increases do not actually catch up with inflation. For, for a lot of people, it is, it is true that you are not gonna make you, you know, your real salary, you know, the, 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 the amount of money you take home, taking inflation into account, it's actually going down. That, that is the reason why we're not able to buy, and you know, we're not able to consume as much, well, because we cannot afford it, right? I mean, it's, it's that simple. Yet, on the other hand, if, if we could afford it, that would also lead to increase in prices, right? So, so, so that is that is a very, very delicate balance. That is a very hard, hard thing to to uh, you know find find an equilibrium for. Um, yes, I wish I, I, that's that's why I hope interest rates don't go up as much, so that so that the economy can can really grow and and all all of us that would like to have our our, our wages catch up with inflation well i i would really like for that to happen i like what because, steve yes, said i is, like what steve said hard. that you, you, well you said at the top of the show during the pandemic people saved a lot um the government gave out a lot of money so people now have more in savings than they had i mean so people there, there was more money out there and it seems like instead of that being yep. a correction uh as steve has said that it's a, a bad thing and, and and it makes me think our economy only works if there is a, a some amount of pain and suffering that there have to be losers there have to be those kinds of things i mean is is that a wrong way to look at this or i mean basically what they're saying is people have too much money they, they saved up too much money in the pandemic yeah. and and as a result our prices have gone sky high and we need to get rid of some of that money people have saved up is is that a fair statement or not yeah that's 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 more of an interesting statement you know I, I haven't I haven't thought of that in, in that with that regard but um, but the truth is you know if if, um, if there's if there's a lot of money in the banks uh, ideally that money goes and and, and it's uh, you know the banks landed and uh, you know we have more mortgages we have more loans we have more things like that but in reality that's that's not the way it works you know I mean it's it's we know that banks can get money from the Fed and then and then make and then make uh, make their loans, right? I mean, if you think about this, if you think think about mortgage rates a year ago, you know they they were very low. You know they were probably historically in the in some of the lowest rates we've ever seen in the economic history of this country. Now, is that a natural thing? I would say probably not, right? Because 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 this this was somehow uh, influenced by the by the central bank. I mean, if you can get money cheap, well, you'll get money cheap, and we're seeing the consequences of that. So, so yes, you know, it's it's ideally, I would like you know, for all of us to have more savings. I would like for 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 most of the American people to have savings, but but um, it is it is a very hard thing. I will I will I will just say that um, for a lot of people especially right now when prices have been going up um if they saved a little you know or whatever they could save well it is gone right right, so, right. So yes wow all right that's tough all right we're going to take a break um thank you for that call steve we'll take a break uh, take more calls if you want there's a the number 615-737 plus 615-737-7587 we'll take a break be back right after this